Hey all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling. And I have a fun project for you today. We also have Keenan here. Hello, I've brought cosmic brownies. <laughs> he likes snacks and art <laughs> and cheering us on. Yes. This is the project we're gonna do today. <gasps> oh! It's a fun one. And w this theme that we've been working in is all about positive affirmations, which I love because I'm all about, you know, the cheering of the art. And yes, like and positive things. Being cool with what's happening. So I'm gonna talk about the supplies and then the prompt and then we'll set an intention and then we'll get to it. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna use these gelatos. They're like watercolor chapstick basically, or They whatever. don't moisturize your lips, I'm no, pretty sure. No, but they're sparkly. Oh, so maybe it's worth it. So we didn't be doing a couple of projects with this and I'm loving it, so that's the Mars. So wait, hold on, I'll tell you. Nebula, Mars, so they're like galaxy names. And Stardust, I always wanna say Starburst because I'm thinking about- The snack. The Starburst, yeah. I get it, yeah. Now I want a pink Starburst. Yep, or a red one. We already started talking about food in the first three seconds. Of the I said Cosmic Brownies immediately. <laughs> we're also gonna use some gel medium and we're gonna use it um, to collage with. And um, you know, this can take the place of Yes Paste and, and then give you a surface to keep painting on and stuff like that. So this is gonna be fun. We are going to use a craft knife to cut out our collage paper. You could also use scissors. We'll probably use just this um, oval mop brush for just, you know, painting. Probably don't need our smaller brush here. And I suggested just having a separate brush for when you're using media. Um, I had this bristle bright brush. It's a little bit large, but it's it's great for that. Or you can dedicate another brush to the purpose of just using it for media. A media meaning like if you're using a gel medium or gesso or something like that. It's just a little harsher on your brush. It's a little better to just keep your paint brushes for paint and your media brushes for media. But it's totally fine to dedicate another brush, especially if you don't want it to have a texture because this um, the bristles in this brush are just a little coarser mm, coarser so um you might get a little line in the gesso or the gel, gel medium that's it and uh so it's just a preference of texture that way um, i'm a big fan of that texture it's pretty cool yeah it is it's a lot of fun so we, i think i did a project with us both of them so you can kind of see what we're doing there and then yeah if you want to have this this can help uh move just the gel medium around or you can use a brush so that's just a nice thing to have handy um, and then a roller if you want to be able to cut these straight. I have a cutting mat and the collage paper. Mm, that's required. And an extra sheet of paper, a white sheet of paper. We we already were using uh, white paper to doodle on and cut that, and we're going to just use a regular piece of white paper for the background on this. This mm. gives a little pop, a little dimension. So that's that's the supplies. Now let's do our prompts because if you're new here we like to put a technique um, and a prompt together to make a project and you can mix them up um, within the theme that we're working on or even outside of the theme and we have themes every month and you know we just have a good time mixing it up so you can always do that all right our prompt for today um, like I said we're doing positive affirmations and this one is all about our artistic journey um, it says, if you struggle with the lack of motivation to create or find yourself comparing yourself to other artists, remember um, what Jiru Krishnamurti... Okay, are you going to help me with this? I was going to help you with that. <laughs> Let me see if this works. Jiru Krishnamurti. Oh, that sounds way more beautiful that, when they say it. Jiru Krishnamurti. Beautiful. Okay. Real learning, the quote says, real learning comes about when the com competitive spirit has ceased. Real learning comes about when the competitive spirit. Oh, I sees. love that. Explore this affirmation in your journal. I trust where I am on my artistic journey. And that can mean a lot of things. I think it can mean I trust where I am on my journey. Uh, you know, I might be a beginner. I might just be starting art journaling for the first time right now. And that's great. Just be where you are, right? And welcome. Yes. And welcome. We're so <laughs> glad you're here. We love it. Um, or you might be a seasoned artist that's just kind of looking back to get into the habit of creating again and, and regular practice and you just want to jump start. That's great. This is this is a great way to take these prompts and you know make them your own. And that might be your thing. So sometimes when we have beginners coming in and they see somebody making an original page, so they're like, well, I'm just doing what Jesse's doing. I'm not making original pages. Like that's that's okay. You're learning techniques. You're trying something new. It's a lot of things to try to do all that and then come take it another level and you know make it different or whatever. So exactly. You're on your own journey. And then we also have people that are like, 
man, I'm still working on October and you know, it's January. I'm like, you're on your own journey. You're on your own like path in your own um, time frame. There's no rush, you know, as long as you're making time to be creative, like you win. Yes. <laughs> and so, knowledge and experience are what create comfortable and creativity. Yes. Yes. I think. Yes. And uh, the other thing I think that's important to know is to trust the process in this specific piece that you're working in, right? Like just go with it, right? So we'll talk more about that as we work. I can talk about this all day long, but we'll talk about it while we're making the art. <laughs> all right, so the this is what we're making. So I'm gonna move out over here. I wanna get our journal out and we're just gonna go for it. So the first step, we're just gonna take Mars and we're just gonna put it right on the page. The entire planet. Well, yeah, the Mars Just put planet. it on there. Oh, okay, all right. So we got a little bit of Mars here, and I'm gonna add some of the star dust. I just wanna call it Starburst. It looks like a yummy candy color. Yeah, it does. They all do. Okay, and I'm only doing it at the bottom half because I know I'm gonna go back and cover the paper, so I'm just I'm not gonna do a ton of gelato just to cover it up, although it's a good time, so whatever you wanna do is fine. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna use my brush, and I'm going to Get some water in here, and I'm gonna start moving this around. Oh, love it. And you can go off the edge of the paper if you want. It's crazy to me how much that looks like a crayon when you put it down, and then that when it gets watered down and activates. I just love that. It's so cool. It is so fun. And then you can like add some water and you know go for some blooms. See, you gotta wait. It's a, it takes a little bit longer than actual watercolor to bloom, but you can get some textures in there, which are, which are nice. And I know I kind of want a cake pink sort of tint, the top and around here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get that in there. I might even want a little more. So you can also use your gelato just right on your tray, like I've been showing you. Woo! Everybody just wants to be over there. Let's just stay in your lane. Okay? <laughs> stay home. Uh, now, while this is wet, you can still blend it, which is nice. So just like last month when we were doing some watercolor, it, you can blend it as long as you work quickly and it's still wet, which is nice. And I know this part's gonna get covered up with my papers. So I'm not too worried about that. I think I want just a little bit more this color. I'm not being precious. I'm just getting some stuff on there, having fun, just, I'm painting, you know? It's good, it's a good time. Can you see that little shimmery, sparkly stuff in there? Okay, just a that? bit. So as it dries, it may do that more. I also like that you can put this straight on the palette and use it as paint. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, it's super cool. I mean, I know we've been using it for a couple, uh, a few tutorials now, but it's just. Yeah, well, they might've just joined in. So True, I mean, exactly. I always gotta repeat this up. Okay, and if you got a, like, a wet spot, you can actually just come back in, get a darker value, because cool. when it's wet, it'll take in more pigment. See that? Wow. So it's kind of fun. Okay, I'm liking that. It's looking yep. cool. Big fan. All right, so we'll let this dry, which may take a little bit because I I gave I, I did did some water, I did a lot of water on there. I think I just want that to fade into the page just a little more. Okay, I like that. All right, all right. For okay, let that dry. We're gonna get our oh, I'm missing a piece of collage paper. Okay, we're gonna. We'll cut this one out, we'll let that dry, and then we'll come back, that's what we're gonna do. So, I trust where I am on my artistic journey. I just love that, I love the idea of that. Oh, I needed to keep going. I was thinking that word was shorter. Just keep cutting, just keep <laughs> cutting. 
Okay, that's barely hanging on. We could just work with a smaller piece, that'll be easier. Also, it doesn't say I trust where everyone else is on their artistic journey. This is a focus up on yourself situation. I trust where I am. Exactly. That's right. Okay. So, yeah, the hardest part about this project is waiting for it to dry. <laughs> Perfect. And we'll have a little bit of drying time for um, a couple of these steps. So, have a snack candy. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in a second. Okay, this is looking dry and more sparkly. Oh. See that sparkle? It's kind of like lipstick. I mean, it's cool. Okay, so we have our trust where I am on my journey and this um, <clears throat> image. I mean, you could pick another image if you like that um, represents your journey more or maybe your physical environment. I just thought this was a fun picture. I also got a little paint on my picture somehow. I'm okay with that. Gives a little extra character. Yeah, it's a little something. A little accidental uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My daughter's just made up a song about sparkles today. Oh. Don't remember how it goes because I think they were just kind of looking at things and singing about it and then adding sparkles. My girls went through a stage where they named their stuffed animals and all of them had some sort of version of sparkle and it was like sparkle sunshine, ice cream sparkle, like, you know, just, they really like sparkle. Cheddar cheese sparkle. Could, I mean, that could have very well been one, although I'm I don't start naming so. things cheddar cheese. <laughs> we have some paint in a future box. It's called cheddar. Cheddar? Is it green? Or is it orange? It's like the color of macaroni and cheese cheddar. I wasn't like. sure because some people call money cheddar. Really? Yeah. I don't know that I've met these people. Oh. Maybe I made it up. I think. Maybe. I'm, I think you make stuff up, but you could also be right on this. It could go either way. I really don't know. Now I'm not, now I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So we got that. And um, we want to rip our other white piece of paper. And we're probably going to cut this down. Well, let's just cut that down really quick. I didn't realize those were trees. Yeah. I was looking at it upside down, so I was very confused. Still thought it was super cool. So I'm cutting it where it says, I trust where, and then I am on my, that's what I'm doing. I had to say it out loud, y'all. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> we're here for it. But you know, if you're like following along, then that might be helpful. Okay, so there's our words. We got that, so now we need our paper and I'm gonna, gonna tear it like right in there Ooh. Ooh. okay so I want it to be like not all the way to the edge of my paper but yeah that's about right then I'm gonna tear it like right here. And I think that I added another piece of paper just to have it pop out a little bit on this side because it was popping out on that side the first time I made it. So you can do that. That's what's fun about collages. You can, I don't want to bump out more. You can do this sort of thing. And I'm, a, oh, I. I have two just in case I mess up, I ripped two pages at the same time. Smart. So efficient. <laughs> I'm like, this feels different. What's <laughs> happening? This is weird. Oh. Yeah, so, okay, that's what I did. I'm going to tear this part. Now, if you want the, like, layered tear, you want to tear one direction. If you want this straight tear, you tear the other way. So if you tear towards you, you get that soft edge and if you tear away from yourself then you're going to get it that way that makes sense hmm. yeah that that's great okay so we got that and so sometimes when you're art journaling you work you're maybe taking just an abbreviated set of supplies and what it's good is that it narrows down your choices and you just like either learn how to do something new or whatever and so when i was making this i I'm limited to 
an abbreviated set of supplies because you guys get different supplies in the box every time. And I really wanted some white to make this pop. And so that limitation of not having white paint allowed me to think, oh, we can do white paper because we're going to do all this fun stuff with gel medium. So ah. sometimes it's good to have limited supplies because it gets you thinking about other solutions, you know? Totally. Okay, so next we're going to put some gel matte medium on this and get that down. And I'm going to use my bigger brush. And it's dry. It's not super wet because I don't want my brush to be wet and then get this paper wet, especially if it's a printed paper like this because it might change the integrity of the print. Mm. So it's mostly a dry brush, and I just want to be able to get my medium on here really well. And so when you're doing big passages, like big areas like this, and then you're just doing the back of it, this brush is great for that. Okay, so remember how I... Slippery. <laughs> I'm like, how did, I, how did I have this on here? I think I was doing it just like this. And, you know, if it's a little wrinkly, whatever, this is... Fine. We're just the having wrinkle fun. might be really cool. Yeah, it could be. Could be cool. Okay, now I'm going to just do another layer of gel matte medium over top of this. This is what I mean. You get some texture there, which is kind of nice. And you could be more intentional about that texture or less, whatever you like. And I think I wanted this little. There's that little bump out piece I had. Is this it? I think this was it. I'm just gonna do a little, little bit right there. Nope, oh, two bump outs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay, and that's just nicely sticking on there. Put a little bit more. I'm not sending it a ton on there. I'm putting it on and I'm moving it around and we got a little buckle on the paper because the paper got wet here that's all right and honestly using your hands is really great for this too um it's whatever you're comfortable with whatever texture you want Just, you do you I'm liking that that's looking good okay and then oh I wanted that little little bit of purple this little graph piece it's what I had at the top here just a little oh yeah little accent Little Something. poke, the little thing that pokes up up there. Yeah, just a little splash of color. Yeah. Trying to tear it. My hands were sticky, so they were just sticking. It's good for football. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about football at all, but now that you mention it, it's probably good. It helps catch the ball if you don't have good hands. <laughs> Okay, so we got that, and then we can go right into the next one and put this on like this, because this is still sticky, so that's going to work to our advantage. Get a little bit more of this medium. I'm running out of gel medium, but I did a lot of projects with this already. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're probably doubling up on those on that bottle. Or tripling up. And this br this larger brush might soak up a little bit more mm -hmm. than a smaller brush. So that's something to be aware of, too. Okay. Let's see. Get our picture on there. I kind of like it with that little bit of paint on there. I do, too. Now, at this stage, we could have waited to put this on and then did the little bit of um, nebula on the white to stain it. And I think I might have done that the first time I did it. But I was just thinking about having to wait in between for the drying time, and we can still do that nebula after the fact. So if you followed my card and I said that, I changed it, and that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay on this artistic journey. Are you yeah. okay on this artistic Are you okay journey? <laughs> Yay! Okay. So I think what I want, pardon me, I'm going to reach down here, is that smoother brush. Oh, where'd I put it? I have a brush. I have a brush. Oh, where is my paintbrush? Okay. 
Oh, where is my paintbrush? I have this splatter brush um, that I want to do the gel medium over top of this because I don't know that I want a texture on there. I did do it the first time and there's a texture there. See that when I use the rougher brush, but it also may take up a little bit of the pigment from your photo that you're using. So if you're oh. into that, that will work. But I want to show you with a smoother brush too. So I gotta really shake this to get it out because we're at the end here. This should have grabbed more a bottle. There we go. Yeah, still good. There's still plenty in there. All right, nice. great. Feeling good about that. So yeah, that's not a wet brush. I just went straight for it. And I'm going to go over my photo. Now, if you go over the paint, that's a water soluble paint with gel matte medium, it will reconstitute the paint and it might smear and move around. So that's why Yes Paste is really great for a lot of things because it's not going to mess with any, any wet media you have if you're using it on the bottom. But if you're using Jet Mill, Jet Wow, this is almost as hard for me to say that it's the Oval Mop Brush. Oval Mop Brush. <laughs> Let's get going too fast. And you can seal this with a gel matte medium too. And it will get um, sealed under that layer, but it may also reconstitute what's happening there. So just be aware of that. At one point, I think you said jet meal. Did I really? My yeah, gosh. and I liked it. I was like, okay, okay, what kind of jet are we on? <laughs> jet. Gel matte medium, because there's a mat and a T in the mat. Yes. So just switch it all around. Jet meal. Um, like no joke, I am dyslexic, so I mix up things like that all the time. Like some people joke about that, but it's actually a thing. It's actually a thing for me. Yeah. It's real. Now I got a little bit of bubbling under here, so I'm just gonna try to get some more medium on there and smooth out mm. that. Oh, that's a good call. See, there it goes. It's gone. And that's that's when just using your hands is kind of nice. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of medium over this because in those places that are super heavy, um, where I put the pigment, it may transfer to your other paper if it's really, really heavy. I'm okay with that in my journal, um, but you can always just cover it up with a little gel medium that seals it and then it won't transfer. We are almost there. Oh my gosh, it's looking cool. Okay, I'm gonna do my word. Oh no, 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 no. We're going to stain the white part. I got excited. We're going to do that first. Okay, so I'm just going to put this on my palette. Is that too far over for them to see it on the palette? It is slightly. Okay. But you've got quite a bit of room, so if you want to slide it to the left, you I'm can. I'm just going to turn it around. Oh snap, the old flipperooski. The old flips. Flipping it. Okay. So. This is not quite dry. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. You may want to let yours dry a little longer, but. Oh yeah, like in that. Just a little hint to that color is so nice. Now, if my gel matte medium was truly dry and I didn't like what I was doing, I could wipe it away because mine's still a little sticky. Probably won't do that, but just so you know, once you have the gel matte medium on the surface and it's just dry and it's slick, you have some room to edit, which is nice too. That is nice. Okay, look like I have a little bit of bump right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put this on my finger at this point and I'm going to try to smooth that bubble out. Now, I don't worry too much about getting it perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect, but I just want you to see that this is happening to me. So if I, ooh, I got a little bit of that pigment on there because I was pushing around, but look at that. I'll just oh, that's that cool. Because that gel matte medium was there. So if that was didn't have the medium on there, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Oh, so the one man. thing to understand about medium, is, especially when you're working with acrylics and stuff like that, it has a couple different purposes. It, you can do what we're doing with it with collaging, but um, in, in watercolor, you water down watercolor to get a lighter value. If you do that with acrylic paint, it 
um, changes the viscosity or the thickness of the paint. And so if you want a lighter value without breaking down the pigment, you use medium mm. because it has the same polymers as the paint. And so then you're, you're, you're uh, changing the value without changing the integrity of the paint. Interesting. So because we had that on there, it just, I was able to kind of buff it out because it was still wet. So that's just kind of a good thing to know about mediums. That's an excellent thing to know about mediums. Medium, mediums. Mediums, medium. medium. Yeah. Medium. Either way. Jet meal. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys put up with me. <laughs> All my quirky, silly mix-ups. Okay, so the last step is going to be to put our words on. So... I'm going to use this brush because it's smaller. And I like the flat brush when I'm doing a straight edge because it's just easier. Mm. We didn't even end up using our palette knife, which is fine. Oh, I just noticed I have the teeniest little bit of blue on there, but I'm okay with that from where it was on the collage paper. Sorry, I know my head might be in the camera, but I just okay. want to see where I'm at. It's only briefly. Okay, sorry. I trust where I am. I have to say it so I get it in the right order. <laughs> I mean, I have to do that with spelling words, so yeah. Totally understandable. Okay, so there we have it. This one is very similar to the one that I showed you. I want to show you. Look at that. Thanks. So fun. Looks so, so good. Fun. Okay, now we did one tutorial where we were having a lot of fun doodling. So if you missed that, go back and watch it. It's so fun. You can, if you don't know how to draw or you're worried about drawing, but you want to have more illustrations in your art journal, that's a really great way to start. We sketch out just the shapes and then we doodle over top of that and just had a great time. Yeah. And I was thinking um, that you could add more to this if you're wanting to do that. And we did these little U shapes on that last tutorial. And so like almost like the little rainbow shapes. And I wanted to show you, you can add that to this page if you like. So you can keep going oh, and adding more man. stuff. You could keep adding more pigment if you want and you could even take it over your photo. So it's just whatever you want to do. You make it your own. Trust your journey, you know? Don't be afraid. <laughs> I had so much fun making this. I love being here with you. I love being on this journey and sharing um, this experience. I, I love the community that we have here with Let's Make Art. We have an awesome Facebook group where people share their projects and what they made. And it's always a little different because you're in that when you make it, right? So um, your personality shines through even when you're following along and doing something um, very close to what I'm doing. It is still it still has you in it because you made it. So we love to see what you share there. Um, you can find us at Let's Make Art Journals on Facebook. You can also make a uh, use the hashtag <laughs> there it is. for Instagram and we can find you there. Thanks so much for being here. I'm making time for art and we'll see you next time. <laughs>